we are in Ocho Rios, Jamaica at the Couples Tower Isle Resort. Now this is an all-inclusive resort for adults only. The resort is one of the most popular resorts here in Jamaica and actually the very first hotel resort here on the island. So we're gonna drink, we're gonna eat, and we're definitely gonna be going to the Naked Island. Let's get this vacation started. All right, welcome to our room. Let's take a tour. A superior ocean view room it said it was gonna have a partial ocean view but to me this is a full ocean view I think the main difference is that it's not the front side of the resort with the views of the naked island <laughs> I would say these rooms are on the quiet side of the resort near the spa so if you're not into the action this may be a great room for you to book So if you join the Romance Rewards program, which is totally free, you can actually pre-check in and customize your mini bar. So I wanted some red wine, some champagne, and then we also picked out like some red striped beers, the different sodas that we like. So we definitely recommend doing that in advance to have everything waiting for you when you get here. If you don't, or for the next day, you'll get a mini bar menu and you can pick out exactly what you want and leave it for room service on your door. And then because they're eco-friendly, you'll get reusable water bottles that you can fill up at their filling stations and take with you around the resort. All right, so there's a trick to remember your room number. It's four digits. First number is gonna be your room block. Second number is gonna be your floor level. And then 04 is the actual room number. All right, we're starving. So before we even think about the pool, we're gonna go to the grill, which is, I believe, 24 seven, as it's past lunchtime and it's too early for dinner. I need snacks. We're on the fourth floor, so we get to take the elevator and I am so terrified and traumatized by elevators. <laughs> Being a big girl and doing it. <sighs> Mostly I'm just too lazy to walk up four flights of stairs in the heat, no thanks. snacks at the pool grill and it looks like right at the pool they're setting up for some sort of like music entertainment show tonight and there's tables all around the pool area so we may have to check that out so we got jerk sausage hot dogs and David's yelling at me because I put ketchup on mine you have to have ketchup and he's firmly in the camp of no ketchup and I don't get it it's just bare no ketchup all right I'm gonna call it right now this entire vacation I'm going to drink rum punch and David's gonna drink Red Stripe. Right behind me, that is the Naked Island, as I call it. David yelled at me, he said it's all that trial, but I think the Naked Island is more fun. We'll be going there in the morning. Imagine every day. Checking up at Daddy Conga, so coming out of Hannah and Cover, so good night. in front of the pool with the swim up bar which is closer to our room by the five block building we've noticed we got here like 3 30 4 o'clock and both this pool the main pool the beach even it's all in the shade so you'll want to start your days kind of early now a note on getting here we were able to take a quick three hour flight into montego bay airport and from there you'll go right to the couples lounge where you have maybe a 20 minute wait for your ride and then they'll take you on a bus and drive you the two hours down to the Ocho Rios area. And that is completely included in your stay at no extra cost. Although note, you'll want to tip the drivers as they are not staff members here at the resort. Now the resort has a strict no tipping policy, which is kind of nice because we've noticed off the resort, Jamaicans are pretty pushy for tips. So just bring some cash for your drivers or if you you know, go do an off-site excursion, go to the spa, but otherwise you don't need to bring any money to tip at the bars and restaurants here. Nice 
switched it up. I've got a pina colada. Since it's pretty overcast and almost bordering a little on chilly, we're gonna go check out the hot tub area and then probably go back to the room, hang out for a couple hours before our dinner reservation at the Eight Rivers restaurant. than the pool, so we're gonna take it. All right, the second hot tub, which is closer to the water, was vacated. And this is a hot tub. It's like really hot. Oh, yes. Even though we're so tired and would rather lay in bed and get room service, we have a reservation at Eight Rivers. All the restaurants are closed on certain days, so it's a little tricky. So we're gonna go and then we're gonna come back and go to bed. Now, just a note, if again, you pre-register and check in with that free rewards program, you can email them 30 days before your visit and go ahead and get a reservation. Now, one really nice thing is on their website in the dining section, each restaurant has a really comprehensive guide for the dress code, which typically is only an issue with men. So for this restaurant, David was forced to wear his nicest outfit, which is just a polo shirt, a nice pair of pants and closed toe shoes which he absolutely hates. All right, let's see what you were forced to wear. He'll be fine. All right, and for the salad, they actually get it from the salad trolley, which is fun. We got some lamb for the appetizer, which I might take a small, small bite because I'm so scared of eating lamb, but I'm gonna try it. All right, David just informed me that wasn't lamb. It was rabbit. And I really liked him. Poor Thumper. All right, it's dessert time. Got my like banana chocolate rum pie. And I'm so excited. Mm. That's really good. basically went back to the room after dinner last night and just immediately went to sleep and slept really good throughout the whole night. Dinner was really, really good. We really enjoyed the Eight Rivers restaurant, so make sure you get a reservation when you come. Now today, we are planning on spending some time at the Au Naturel Island, and obviously you can't have cameras or take photos there. I'm still hoping I can at least get a sneaky vlog of my face, but one thing the resort does allow is around 8.30, you can take the boat over and for 30 minutes do some photography of the island before it becomes nude time. So we're gonna definitely go over there and get some shots of the island for you. All right, we're gonna get some coffee and we're gonna go to the buffet before we start our adventures. Let's go.
right, it is time. We are heading to Naked Island. Yes. We are back from the All Natural Island and it was so much fun. They made a buffet and fed everybody lunch and you can kind of pick and choose your vibe. Like if you turn to the right when you get there, it's really quiet, people leave each other alone and there's some sets of chairs that aren't by other people. Or if you go to the left where the pool is and the bar, people are more social and now we want to show you the regular beach while there's still a few hours of sun left though we are going to head down there but yeah even if you're like kind of nervous just go because no one cared like no one was looking at each other no one was judging and everyone looked really normal like there was nothing really good to look at anyways so just go so you can say that you went buildings four and five because there's this beautiful jungle area if you head to the very back you can see the spa and it is so aesthetic and beautiful and they have parrots and birds so we almost didn't walk up here and I'm so glad we did it was really cool <laughs> That one's asshole, and that top one's Larry. Uh, uh, that sounded like a real human. All 
All right, next plan, we're not feeling too fancy, so we're just gonna head on down to the buffet and have some quick and easy dinner. And that is the same restaurant we had breakfast in this morning. <music> is our last full day at Couples. So today is gonna to be the day where we do our choice of excursion. So one of the best parts of the Couples Resorts is that it truly is all-inclusive. They actually have off-site excursions that are included completely in the price. The most popular one is visiting Dunn's River Falls, and it looks really cool, and I think if we were staying for a longer amount of time, we definitely would have done that. So we're actually gonna do the trading places option today, which is where we get to spend the day at the sister resort just like five minutes up the street. Now the only thing to note is you have to be a member of the loyalty program. So you need to sign up for that in advance. You have to be able to provide your membership number to book the trading places. I will put some highlights in this vlog, but if you're interested in a longer video, make sure you check out the Jamaica playlist below to find more on that resort. everyone we are at Couples Sans Susi. So as soon as you arrive they will take you on a guided tour of the resort from the front all the way to the end at the nude section and I will note there are a lot of stairs here just be prepared to walk quite a bit. The resort is absolutely beautiful and completely different honestly from Tower Isle. It's very lush there's plant life everywhere it's a lot larger than Tower Isle and of course instead of an all-natural island you do have an all-natural beach area. There's a massive pool, there's spa services, there's a hot tub. So it's just a totally different experience from Tower Isle. six hours at Couples San Susi and we're now waiting for our transportation to take us back to Tower Isle. All right, we'll see you back at Tower Isle. Everybody, it is our last dinner and we are gonna go head to veranda which does not require any reservations but let's go eat David and I only wear black ever and we both randomly decided to wear blue oh, we know. we're so cute Okay, so we're having a major argument. I say that the girlies always get the bench side. It's got pillows, we can put our purse down. The man has to take the chair. No, no, 
a man's back should never face the entry of the room. Well, then that's a poor design flaw. And they should have designed it so... That... Well, we designed it how we wanted it. Women were like, oh, I want the comfy seat. And that's not what it was because we didn't have pillows on the benches, but women wanted pillows to make it look good. And then they were like, oh, I want the comfy seat. Anyways, let us know in the comments <laughs> who's right. <laughs> everybody it is a beautiful sunny day and I'm so disappointed that it's finally going to be sunny because it's our last morning at Couples so we have a few hours before we head back to the airport so we're just gonna wander around and get some photos eat some breakfast have some coffee and then it's time to go so make sure if you're interested in more Jamaica content or other travel vlogs you like and subscribe and we appreciate you coming with us to Jamaica. See you in the next one.